Hey guys, I am Wizarding World YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome to my Inside Editions Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore channel. <laughs> God, I just squeaked again. What is going on? It's my age. I swear it's my age. Thank you so much, Insight Editions, for sending me the latest Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore movie magic book. I cannot wait to show it with you. I will stay away from spoilers though, don't worry, because there are a few in the book. But if you'd like to see this book spoiler free, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring some Fantastic Beast magic to you, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. <laughs> So today, because we're talking about Fantastic Beasts, I am wearing the Dumbledore t-shirt that I received from Very Nico. Thank you very much. If you haven't seen that unboxing of all the lovely items, and I have more to share with you, then check out the link above. But this wand happens to be my favourite Fantastic Beasts wand. I absolutely love Dumbledore's style. As, as Kingsley would say, you can't deny it, Minister Dumbledore's got style. He really has got style. He is an amazing, amazing man. And uh, Jude Law, what can I say? Gorgeous to boot. But this is Dumbledore's wand. It is absolutely magical. But as I always say, I'm going to put it back before I break it. So I don't know what day this is going to go on. I assume it'll be Saturday or Monday. So I'm going to read a date from those dates because I am bulk filming ready to disappear to London for the weekend to work. Let's do Saturday, the day I'm at the Harry Potter studios. 30th of April. Professor, I'm really sorry to disturb you, said Harry quietly as possible while Ron stood on tiptoes attempting to see past Slughorn into his room. But my friend Ron swallowed a love potion by mistake. Could you, um, I take, I take him to Madame Pomfrey, but, uh, we're not supposed to have anything from Weasley Wizards Weezers, you know, awkward questions. I'd have thought you'd w have whipped up a remedy, Harry, an expert potioner like you, said Slughorn. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Chapter 18, Birthday Surprise. Um, I'm not good at doing Slughorn's voice, but uh, that's the best you're going to get. <laughs> so thank you so much for Insight Editions for sending me this amazing book. Now I have these books. I have most of them, I think. I'm just looking over here. I'm sure I've got most of them. Have I got most of them? I have got most. But these books are amazing. These are by Insight Editions, and this one is all about, as you can see, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, movie magic. Now, around the front, you can see you've got Jacob, my favourite character, Grindelwald, Dumbledore, Newt, and Queenie. And then down here, you've got Lally and Theseus. And then you have some creatures around the edges there. And then on the book, it shows you kind of like a little kind of blurb on what is in this book or what can be found in this book. So I am going to show you a few things in here and answer some questions that I've been receiving on Instagram. Again, spoiler free. I will do the spoiler free. What I love about this is inside the print and the inside of this book, you have the beautiful Mina Lima print that they did for the chillin, the chillin creature that's very, very important to the Secrets of Dumbledore story. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful picture. Now you can actually see this print on in the trailer when they're in the room of requirements or the room we require, the spinny thing in the middle of the room, this is what is printed on it. And this is a chillin that is going around, the walk of the chillin. So as we open it again, no spoilers, so don't worry. We have the first part here with some of the main characters on there as well. So this is what the chillin uh, is meant to look like in a cartoon version. 
it is the cutest creature and it is now one of my favorite creatures in the wizarding world now this here as you can see is the blood pact from crimes of grindelwald there is actually a company hot topic in america who have created a few tops with this print on they look gorgeous now as we go on we have dumbledore the gorgeous Jude Law, who we love so much. And doesn't he make a fantastic Dumbledore? He really does. Now it goes on, the story so far, so as you guys know the story by now, we have obviously Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, where they're based in New York, and we meet Queenie and Tina, Jacob, and obviously Newt, and Teddy, the Niffler for the first time. And we have the other stories or items from the films, and it's obviously just a little kind of an update. Then it goes on to Crimes of Grindelwald, where we meet Theseus Commander and Lita Lestrange as well, who are uh, or, or fiancés, as you say. And we also meet the beautiful Nagini, and we continue to see Credence's story. We find out at the end of that film that there's a possibility that he is a Dumbledore. And then it goes on to, you've seen this scene in uh, the trailer, so don't panic. We have Dumbledore and Grindelwald talking in what looks like a cafe. Now, as we go on, it shows a little bit of the story, but I will try and kind of bypass some of it. We have Grindelwald and Dumbledore there and we have a little bit more about the blood pact on there. That necklace is actually available from Noble Collection, and they do, if you go into store in Noble Collection, they actually have a costume version, so if you can't afford the 50 pound version, the costume version doesn't look any different to me, because I've almost bought it myself. It is absolutely beautiful. So we have Newt Scamander, a little bit of history about Newt Scamander here as well, some lovely pictures of Eddie Redmayne there, whom we love, we love our Newt. Then we have a bit of a story about uh, what's going on, so I'm gonna bypass that. Then we have a little bit about the chillin', which I will show you briefly, because it's not going to change much. But there we have a bit about the chillin' and the beautiful creature themselves. The chillin' in the story is such a stunning creature and so cute. Then we have, obviously, a lot more. You'll recognise Nirmengard Castle because it's at the end of Crimes of Grindelwald. It's a beautiful, beautiful, picturesque, stunning castle based in the freezing, uh, um, the freezing landscape and it is absolutely stunning and that's obviously where Grindelwald is based with his um his entourage his army if you like well it's not much of an army is it and then as you go on you have some fantastic pictures of Grindelwald of Mads Mikkelsen playing Grindelwald I've got to be honest he is now one of my favorite Grindelwalds it's Percival Graves or should I say Colin Farrell as my number one Grindelwald then it's Mads Mikkelsen then it's Johnny Depp absolutely love them now I'm a massive fan of Johnny Depp I just couldn't connect to him as Grindelwald I thought he was brilliant but there was just something missing and Mads Mikkelsen he has that demure, that lustuous kind of, you want to please him, but you know that if you do something wrong, he's going to turn on you. With Johnny Depp, I got that from Creedence, from um, Percival Grays when Colin Farrell was playing Grindelwald, but I didn't get that from Johnny Depp's side. So as much as I love Johnny Depp, I'm a massive fan of Johnny Depp, I'm following his trial absolutely without fail every day when they're obviously in court. I love his work but I just couldn't, there was just something not there. Not like Dumbledore. Dumbledore, um, Jude Law is Dumbledore. It's like he was born to play that part and I wouldn't say Mads Mikkelsen was born to play that part but he's very very good. Colin Farrell was born to play Grindelwald. I just wish that he could have continued but obviously because of the story he couldn't. I'm so gutted at that. Plus, he's really gorgeous. Then we have the stunning Queenie. Obviously, everybody loves our Queenie. All I can say is that she doesn't disappoint. She is a beautiful, beautiful character. And we still see that love, that kind of affection, that warmth of her story going through the entire film of Secrets of Dumbledore. And I just think that she, she certainly didn't disappoint me. Again, you've got Credence Barebone. I thought he was fantastic. I think, I'm not, not kind of sure about Ezra Miller himself. However, Credence Barebone was such an amazing 
character in the films he played that kind of that lost little boy that that damaged goods kind of person who was just desperate for the truth desperate for some answers and he played that brilliantly he reminded me and please don't hate me for saying this he reminded me of a broken harry potter that's what he reminded me of maybe it's because he was looking for his family i don't know but he did kind of i did kind of feel that broken harry potter side you know when harry's really kind of down and he's struggling and he's fighting voldemort and he just really struggles to kind of just to, he, he still fights he still fights for what's right and credence needs to be shown that but maybe credence is more what harry would have been like if he turned out to be more like malfoy but i still found there was some sort of connection there and i've got to say in the trailers credence looks so much like severus snape there is such a likeness to severus snape in his appearance everybody agrees that he is so like severus snape so it's shocking so there might be some sort of history there we don't know so you've got albus dumbledore whom i love so much i am wearing the proud dumbledore t-shirt today from very nico and loving every thread uh, so we go on we've got returning to hogwarts which you all know hogwarts they do go back to hogwarts now these pictures i don't think are from the films because i don't recognize any of them but you will recognize that you've got dumbledore there in an office and there's some beautiful kind of attire around and it's just such a stunning kind of hogwartsy feel but yes as you know from the trailers they do go back to hogwarts quite a few times too then we have stunning theseus commander who was seriously hot at the world premiere yes i was invited to the world premiere along with loads of other gold members but we, we saw theseus commander at the gold premiere and it was like hello sailor so uh, we've got the hog's head which you do know he goes back to or dumbledore is seen because in the trailers we see mcgonagall going to see uh, dumbledore at hog the hog's head in um hogsmeade so i won't show you those pictures though just in case then of course we met aberforth in the, the last film aberforth is just so wonderful we've met aberforth before in the harry potter films and here he is just what a brilliant person he was he was fantastic and played a fantastic character and then we have mr jacob kowalski oh my god i love him so much <laughs> i love him he is so adorable i'm really hoping that noble collection release his wand because they're releasing uh, a load of people including credence's ones from fantastic beasts uh, in the summer no is it september or the summer late summer but they haven't announced jacob's wand yet but i'm really hoping that we see that soon because they're releasing them in stages so let's hope lally hicks was outstanding she was one of my favorite characters from the new film absolutely loved lally so much she's such a wonderful lady then we have some wonderful books you've already seen these these books because i showed you that um very nico obviously did the prints of the books on some of the t-shirts including well not this one sorry the one i've won uh, we have worn a couple of times can't even get my words out but these are the prints these are all designed by mina lima and they are absolutely stunning you can buy the prints now from their shop but some of these pictures some of these book covers are on the back of some of their t-shirts in very nico then we have the great wizard wizarding express now you see them in the trailer on a train i'm not going to say much about it however right here is a new ticket for king's cross station london king's cross station platform three and a third one way for travel departing from and i won't read the rest but that is absolutely and you couldn't have seen it in that because it's upside down so it's great uh, it's amazing because you you have a new ticket a new a new station line the three and a third platform three and a third so that's really exciting because jk rowling has mentioned that there are other platforms in king's cross and so that's just another one that's the one that's been announced so you've got king's cross nine and three quarters and then you've got that one at three and a third so it's really quite exciting to start seeing these like little hints to the new wizarding world oh sorry the old wizarding world isn't it so we've got some beautiful pictures of Newt Scamander and Theseus there which we love 
I can't show you that, but it was a very cute picture of a Niffler holding something he really shouldn't. And then we have some wonderful, wonderful um, items as well regarding the prints. So we've got some gorgeous Fantastic Beasts attire there. You can buy the print from Mina Lima. Can't show you that. Uh, can't show you that. Oh, I can show you that. We've seen this in the trailer. So we've got the beautiful... Um, Bunty there with suitcases in the room we require and it shows there that we've got that thing where I said the walk of the chillin that's what it's on here in the room of requirements so that's quite obviously an iconic part of the film so yeah can't show you that yeah can't show you that can't show you that <laughs> can't really show you that uh, no, can't show you that. Can't show you that. No, can't show you that. No, can't show you that. Yes, I can show you this because they returned to Hogwarts. As you can see, you know about them returning to Hogwarts because obviously they've put it out in the trailer. So here we have the gang at Hogwarts. And then we have, okay, we've got to show you that because it's just some cute nifflers at the bottom there. And you can't deny they have got style and are just cute. So we've got the Walk of the Chillin. So I'll show you this which is beautiful, very Nico have done a full range of Fantastic Beasts, the secrets of Dumbledore items and I tell you something, they are amazing, I emailed them and I was like, can I have some more please? <laughs> and bless them, they sent me more, so thank you very much, um, but yes, can't show you that, can't show you that, definitely can't show you that and I can show you that because that is just the cutest thing ever. But that is absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, Insight Editions, for sending me this book. I love it. I really can't wait to have a sit down and properly kind of read it because now I've seen the film a couple of times. I want to see it more. I want to see it more. Two is not enough. I want it to hurry up and come out on DVD or on digital just so I can bloody watch it. But I have ordered, pre-ordered the DVD box set because I have to, I, I just have to know it's coming. It doesn't have a release date yet, but I just have to know it's coming. I really have to have it, I cannot wait. So that was the Insight Editions book. What did you think? Are you gonna order it? I will put the link down below for you so you can order it. It will probably be an affiliated link, so if you can click on that and order it, if you want to order it, that is, then that would be brilliant because a small amount comes to me to help me keep my channel magical. Until next time, myself and this book are gonna go and get a cup of tea. I love you guys, speak to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Want to check out more of my content? Take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.